Hey guys, Flint here, Juno Acres. We are coming out of a very wet day. Uh, it was rained all yesterday. We have water standing everywhere here. And these two behind me, Poppy and Millie, uh, they are normally desert animals. So as you can imagine, they do not like uh, when it rains all the time. I'm, I'm going to turn off my muggly, ugly face and uh, kind of show you a little bit about them. So again, guys, this is Poppy and Millie. Millie is this young little ornery female here. We got her. Oh my, it's been been a little oh, right at two years ago. She came to our farm. So that probably makes her about two and a half, I would say. Uh, she was a little pipsqueak when she moved in. And then behind her is, of course, Poppy. He is our long-term resident that we've had here for a few years. He is about eight now, I would say, uh, in age. And he is just kind of the the king of our farm or at least he thinks he is uh right now he's in a decent mood i don't want to say a good mood because it's still kind of wet and muddy out here uh but this back here is their normal loafing shed uh that 95 percent of the year they use to get out of the weather uh we have a a horse barn with stalls that are specifically for them that we put them in in, in the winter time when it is bitter bitter cold and snowing and icing and to get them out of the elements as I already mentioned they're desert animals so wet ice snow uh, really not their cup of tea uh, they're also very picky eaters back here we got a bale of bermuda that they've been working on for a couple of days but this is standard bermuda like what we cut here in uh oklahoma food oh here they go so poppy wants to make sure he's running millie off sorry i didn't catch that but he can get kind of ornery uh they know i'm out here they know i'm about to give them a treat i try to give them a little bit of alfalfa each uh, about every other day right now since it's getting cooler uh, summertime I don't but when it gets cool out they like me a little bit better when I uh, take their mind off of the weather uh, and then here in a minute I'll be putting a bale of hay out for them that is a little bit better uh, Bermuda hay that comes out of Colorado and that I buy from a guy north of, of Tulsa so anyway these are our guys guy and gal uh poppy and millie uh they are dromedary camels not bactrian camels and the difference between the two dromedaries have one hump or a d the letter d laid on its back for dromedary both of them if you got a bactrium camel camel that starts with a b it would be two humps like a letter b laid on its back so bactrian two humps dromedary one hump and yeah these guys are just pretty much here um poppy used to be a guy for those of you who know what that means about farm animals, he used to be a guy. Uh, now he only has part of his guy parts. Uh, but Millie, she's too young to breed. Hopefully, when she gets a little bit older, um, we'll find her a boyfriend and and uh, try to maybe have a little baby running around here in a few years. But. Uh, for now, she is what she is, and they are yard art for the most part. 
So guys, I'm back from uh, moving the T-Post. I've been gone probably 20, 25 minutes. You can see these uh, two scoundrels are, are still at it, eating their uh, dead stuff we gave to them. So um, what they like to do, they like to eat dead stuff, graze all day on the other stuff. When they can get a treat, uh, they'll, they'll eat it up. We try not to uh, give them too much though. We want to keep them healthy and in shape and and uh, looking their best. So um, anyway, that's these guys, uh, the camels. Again, dromedaries. Uh, Millie, M I L E. No, my wife would kill me if I said E Y. M I L. L-I-E, I think is how she spelled it. Uh, and then Poppy. General P-O-P-P-Y. Dromedaries. Uh, fun, fun guys at our, our farm. We uh, got any questions on these two? Um, put them in the comments. I'm more than happy to try to answer anything you got to ask about them not guaranteeing I'll have the right answer, but I'll have an answer for sure. And uh, also, uh, we appreciate y'all who have already subscribed. Like we mentioned, this is not something we planned on doing, but we thought we'd give it a go. Um, great start to our YouTube page. So thank you all who have subscribed. Uh, if you haven't yet, please go do so. Please like, please share. If uh, we got plenty of animals that to keep you all entertained with, I believe, and uh, plenty of projects on our farm. Um, so yeah, if, if uh, you guys continue to have interest, let us know by, by liking, sharing, subscribing, uh, asking questions, and uh, we'll keep going. Thanks and have a good one. Bye.